Hi everyone, today we have something super fun and I've just had the giggles because as soon as I started my intro my voice cracked so um, I'm uh, feeling funny today. But anyway, what we have today is our friend has very lovely given me her kits which she has ordered from AliExpress to show me what their lingerie kits are, are actually doing. So I had noticed over the last month or so that the Ali some of the AliExpress stores are now putting together color coordinated lingerie kits. So it's everything that you need is all there. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I was talking about it with my friend and my friend's like, actually, I have someone order. <laughs> Um, and so she has very kindly given them to me so I can show you all of um, what is in the actual kits. So what we're going to try and do is show you at first a photo of what it looks like on the AliExpress store. Um, we are going to link the store down below um, and I'm going to run you through what is in the actual kits. Now just so we didn't lose anything in, in the handover, um, I think she has taken out some of the small componentry such as like o-rings and sliders um, and things like that. So I'm going to try and make sure that if there's anything that I missed that um, it will be mentioned in the notes. So um, we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, huge thanks to my friend for letting me do this. Um, and if you like these kind of reviews and you want to see more of them, please hit the subscribe button, please tell your friends, and we will continue to do them. Okay, let's jump in and see what we have. So, as I said, um, my friend had already been through and checked them off because, you know, who doesn't get excited about buying things? So I'm not sure of all of the bits and pieces that came with them and what the packaging was like. So as I mentioned in my last AliExpress video last time, there was quite a lot of plastic packaging. So I'm unsure on that this time. All right, so first up, we have a couple of sets of wires. Um, so as normal, they're colored tips at the, at the insides so that you know what size they are. So a couple of sets. So that's two sets of wires. Now this little bundle is kind of like a peachy kind of white person skin tone is probably the easiest way to actually describe it. Um, it is, you know, what would traditionally be badly known as nude without taking into a fact that there are more than one color of nude. So I'm just going to call it peach. So um, it also has in a little plastic and so far I've only found one. So it's a plastic side uh, section which you could use as side boning. Um, it's quite long um, maybe so and it's flexible very flexible um, and obviously if you needed to cut it down you could just cut it um, I would always try and cut it with the curvature because um, otherwise you're going to get poked in the underarm so one of those hopefully there's a second one we have some lightweight plush back elastic it's about six to eight mil um, there appears to be about three meters of it on a very rough measurement. Um, but yeah, plush on one side, plain on the other, nice amount of stretch. I'm just gonna keep these in bundles because there's a few to come and I don't want the desk to just be overrun. Then we have some very nice, very soft stretch lace. Let me try and see which is the right side out so I can show you the right side. That's the right side. So it's quite wide, we're talking 20 plus sort of centimeters. Um, yeah, it's very, very soft. It has no stretch that way. Some stretch, oh, quite a lot of stretch that way. Um, super smooth, scallops on both sides. And it looks like you get about a meter. Sorry for those of you watching in um, with the imperial measurements. I am terrible with inches, I can only work in centimeters <laughs> um so i am sorry for that so yeah some lovely stretch lace then we've got now it's structured like a power mesh so it has the brick like structure but it's very very soft and very very stretchy stretchy um more stretch across the bricks than there is against the bricks there's kind of feels towards a meter-ish, but I think it's actually just like 80 centimeters-ish. Um, and it's like half the width of the full. So it's kind of like 
uh, half, yeah, half the width. So, you know, it's a decent amount. Um, it is a very lightweight mesh. It is not a strong power mesh by any means, but it is lovely and soft. So if you're looking for bralettes, uh, maybe lightweight support, um, or a very soft non-structured lining um, or you know even over all perfect perfect for knickers if you're maybe a little bit of a bigger size want a little bit more structure a little bit more support then it's not going to be enough for your backs so it's just it's too lightweight um, but it's very lovely and soft um, and I like that about it um, so yeah we will see what the other ones are um, I haven't actually read the listings of the exact place that my friend bought all of these things from. Um, so it would be interesting to know if in the listings they said whether it was strong or not. And I do find that sometimes uh, when you're searching on AliExpress, the strength or elasticity isn't always done by like weight, like we would often see. Um, sometimes it's they just say like very strong or heavy, like it's it's different words. Um, so I'll be interested to see if we can follow that up later. Okay, next bundle out. So this time we have the most stunning electric blue colour. Um, I had electric blue nails last week. I should have filmed it then because then it would have all matched in. Okay, let's see what we've got. So we have two pieces of our plastic sidings um, for our, our actual boning. So two pieces of plastic boning. I'm not going to unravel everything because I don't want to make a mess. Um, so we have some narrow strapping. So it's 10 mil, maybe less um, on the strapping. It's a very electric blue. Plush on one side, shiny satin on the other. Nice and strong, actually. Like it's a really nice, strong strapping um, elastic. So that's really nice. Then we have... A very fancy Pico. Um, it's really sweet. It has a lovely edge to it. I'm going to try and see if I can hold this up closer so you can see. Nice and soft. Uh, plush one side, not plush on the other. Um, not too much elasticity. So we're probably looking at great for underarms of bras and really good for knickers. Like it's not, it's not an underbust um, sort of strength kind of rating. Then in the same colour we have some matte fold over elastic. It's really nice, it's very soft. It's just come unraveled so I can show you. So yep, it will just fold in half. Matte on both sides, no shininess whatsoever, which is actually a really nice contrast to actually have sometimes. And I know that some people do flip their um, fold over the wrong way round just because they don't want it shiny. So it looks like you're getting about a metre. So I'm going to take a rough guess and say you're also getting a metre of the strapping and of the narrow pico. Maybe slightly more of that because it's quite tightly kind of wound. So you're looking at about a metre. This level of uh, strength in your fold over, great for your underarms, of your bras, fronts of cups, um, knickers, um, good stuff like that. Um, so that's really lovely in the matte. And then we have some wider, slightly stronger feeling plush back Pico. So again, it's not super wide. It's not super strong. Uh, it is quite nice and quite firm, but not, not very firm. Sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze. Uh, plush back um, elastic with a little bit of pico edge to it it would be quite okay for the underbust of a bra um, personally I like mine a little wider if I'm making an underwire just because I like a little bit more not even firmness just a little bit more width there a little bit more kind of anchoring kind of point so I would still use this one um, but it would maybe I might change what shape of bra I may use it would depend um, but yeah that it's really lovely um, and it's just that would be a sizing thing for me so that would be that 
All right. Now we go into, we have some power mesh again. Again, it's nice and soft, not quite as soft as the peach kit, um, but possibly just because of the amount of dye that's in this. Um, again, feels nice. A little bit more stretch across the bricks, not as much down. Um, actually feels stronger than the peach one. Has Feels like it's got more bounce back to it, so a little bit more strength to it. Um, and again, we're looking at half the width of the entire roll of the fabric and more than 50 centimeters. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I've got my tape measures. The desk I use to film off actually is my part of my cutting desk. So I just reached into the top drawer, which is normally where at least there is at least one tape measure at all times. Okay, let's see how much we've got. Yeah, it's about 80 centimeters by the width of the fabric. So power mesh is often 150, 160 wide. So it's probably 80 by 80 is probably, it's probably an actual square, but a good amount. Um, this one I reckon you could actually use um, for the backs of a bra. It's a little bit more strength. Um, again, if you like a very firm power mesh, maybe not, but great for anytime you need a less firm one, bralettes. Um, good for lining, great for knickers. Um, it certainly wouldn't feel like a sausagey kind of feel. It's not too compressive um, in the actual feel of it. And then the last in this bundle is this stunning blue lace, which is amazing. It's such a great color. Um, I'll put it against my very pale skin and you can see like it's very, very bright. Um, again, probably about a meter. Where did I put the tape measure again? <laughs> and it is, if I measure like scallop to scallop, it's about 23 centimeters wide. So that's like a nice wide width to it. And it's really beautiful, nice and soft. Again, not quite as soft as the peach. Um, and we're looking at no stretch across wise and a reasonable amount of stretch down. So um, I think with a little bit of stabilization, that would be great for some cups. So just keeping to fold these up as I go along. All right, let's see what else we have. So as far as I am aware, each of these was bought as a colored bundle um, together. Um, I've just found a whole bunch more of the clear boning sticks. So I'm going to assume that we got two per kit um, and that some of them have just slid down the inside of the plastic bag because um, they have all appeared at once. All right, our next kit is a lovely black bundle, which I've already just dropped part of. All right, so we start with some of the narrow Pico elastic. Again, looks like about a meter, maybe a little bit more. Has a lovely Pico edge to it, and it's moderate amount of sort of stretch to it. So again, good for knickers, sides of um, underarms and fronts of cups. Um, we have the same beautiful matte fold over elastic. I'm gonna leave that one all bound up. Looks like approximately the same amount as the blue one, and it's the same level of like complete matteness um, there as well. And I've just hit my problem with never wearing lipstick anymore is now that I accidentally hit myself, I'm like, oh no, I've got it all over me and I don't want to put it on the fabric. Sorry, I'm just like a complete dingus today. <laughs> okay, and then we go straight to some black strapping again nice and shiny on one side nice and plush on the other good amount of stretch to it oh sorry Okay, so next up we have a kit in all black. So we can start with, we've got some black strapping. Again, it's super shiny on the outside, 
nice and plush on the inside and that really good amount of strength um, to it as well looks again to be about that meter ish kind of amount some fold over super matte once again again about a meter um, super it's exactly the same as the blue except in black we also have um, some pico with a really nice little frilly edge it's nice and soft um, not too strong so again fronts of uh, cups underarms knickers good for that and then we have the slightly heavier um, plush back pico as well so i think it's actually identical to the blue one yes just two different colorways so i'm assuming they potentially dye everything in batches and then uh, do it um, in in actual bundles out so that was all the black kind of componentry and then we have some lovely black lace, which is really nice. And I'm just going to double check. Similar to the blue in terms of the actual design of the lace. Um, maybe identical, but yeah, pretty close to. So again, we're looking at like a 23 sort of centimeter width lace by about a meter little bit of stretch across more like give and lots of stretch uh, downwards so it looks really nice feels nice and soft again the blue and the black feel much more similar um, together than the peach one did the peach was like super soft and some of that could be just dye, like the amount of dye that goes into garments, heavier dye garments always feel a little bit crunchier to the hand feel. And it's just the amount of dye. So I'm guessing that once you wash them once, even with just like a, a lovely hand wash, it would just soften up. It's just the way the dye feels to your hands um, when it comes out of the factory. OK, so then we've got some power mesh that goes with the black as well. So. It is definitely the brick-like structure of a power mesh. Super stretchy, like super stretchy, but great recovery. Um, and a little bit of give um, on the down um, of the block. So on the honeycomb, it's a, like a little. On the bricks, it's like a lot. So um, it looks like we've got the same kind of 80 by 80 sort of centimeter amount. So it's lightweight. Um, it's not heavy, but that doesn't mean it's not usable. Um, it's just, I know some people are very, I must have a very heavyweight um, band. And I do know that some people double up the amount of um, power mesh they use in their bands. And yeah, you could potentially do that with these ones and get the same results. Um, but it's also not bad. It's just not the heavyweight one. It's the nice soft, soft one. So, um, okay. So that's three kits. We've had the peach, the blue and the, black and it looks like I've got one more kit left in the bag. So as I said at the beginning um, my friend had taken out some of the smaller components we're going to pop down below in the um, in the box what actually came in each one so you've got a really good idea and you can already see that the peach one came, either came with less elastics or my friend had taken them out whereas the blue and the black are identical. And now we have a really lovely lilac um, one. So with the lilac, you'll notice that these are slightly uh, lighter. The elastics are slightly darker. Oops. So if you're looking for an exact match, there's a little bit of difference out. The black was very exact. The blue pretty close as well. Um, and the peach was pretty close as well. So I think once it's made up, it would look like as if it's all one tone. I don't think it would... Um, impact anything so we have a slightly wider fold over elastic this time again it's the completely matte fold over we have the very narrow pico once again the slightly wider pico so maybe you can see it a little easier in the lilac but it's not a wide one it's quite a narrow one um, and yeah, it would just depend what style and what size that you want to make, whether this complete narrow one would work for you. 
then we don't actually have strapping this time. We have the same plush back elastic that we had in the peach. So it is, I'm just trying to undo it without the whole thing unraveling. So it's plush on one side, plain on the other, and has like a good amount of stretch, like more stretch to this than you would have in strapping. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, um, that it is not the same strength as, as strapping in, in that kit. Um, okay, then we have the lace. Again, really nice and soft. Different design this time, not as wide. Um, bit of give this way and reasonable amount of stretch this way. I think the blue and the black definitely had more downward st um, stretch to it than the lilac um, and looks like we have about a meter. Very pretty though, very soft. Um, there doesn't appear to be like in any of them, you can't see any obvious flaws. There's no big runs. There's no catching of the threads. Um, everything's fully formed. Feels nice and smooth. There's no snaggy bits. So it's really nice quality, um, which is really lovely to see. Whenever you get a kit, you always want to have a nice quality kit. And then we have our power mesh again. I'm just going to double check the size. Yep, 80. 80 by 80 ish and again it's the lighter weight one it still feels really nice um i have one or two bras which are maybe this kind of like weight on the back and like i'm not running for the bus in them but they're also not bad <laughs> so um i think it would work um for lots of people um it just it just depends on that level of sort of strength pull in suck in kind of feel that you want um i quite like this um one for lining of maybe like a singlet top that you want to wear at home um sometimes i use this one to line swimwear where i want a little bit of sort of smoothness but not necessarily like a full compressive feeling um but yeah i think it's nice it's good so that's it we have four kits um they look really beautiful. Um, I've just dropped one bit on the floor, so I better make sure I pick that up in a sec. Um, they look great. Uh, they're really lovely, and it's really nice to see that there is another option um, for anyone who's trying to search for extra things. Obviously, AliExpress posts everywhere. Um, some countries would be subjected to different taxes um, as, it, as it comes in, and that's all up to your country. But I'm going to put the links down below for you. Um, yeah, I hope you like this. If you like these kind of reviews, please subscribe. Um, and you can always follow me on Instagram as well. I'm at underscore measure twice. But yeah, if you can subscribe to the channel and we will keep bringing you more reviews and more sewing things. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.